more trouble at St. Louis Public Schools. Weeks away from the first day of class, brand new calls for school board members to resign. Tonight, SLPS board member Emily Hubbard is calling for the board's president and vice president to step down. Good evening, I'm Brent Solomon. This follows days of tensions after the superintendent was placed on temporary leave. Friday, St. Louis Mayor Tashara Jones called for a state audit over how the district is spending its money. Mayor Jones says the district started the school year with a surplus of $17 million. Now there's a projected deficit of $35 million. The mayor is also calling into question top-level hires Superintendent Keisha Scarlett brought in from Washington State. One of those hires is the woman now tasked with overseeing the district, Millicent Borshade, who we confirmed received a vote of no confidence by a teachers union in Washington. They have a lot of, uh, they have a lot of confidence building to do. They have a lot of trust building to do. In every crisis, there is an opportunity uh, for growth and for, for renewal. And as a friend of mine likes to say, don't let any crisis go to waste. So I think they have a, a, a challenge on their hands and uh, hopefully it will be a strengthening point for them. Tonight, Board President Tony Cousins and Vice President Matt Davis tell Five on Your Side their focus is on preparing the district for the first day of school, which, by the way, is August 19th. Five on Your Side will stay on top of the issues with the St. Louis Public School District. Look for updates on air, online at KSDK.com and on the Five on Your Side app. Tonight